What's good, y'all? Jabal Ross back at again with another video. So, I wanted to have this discussion with you guys, and I'm not sure if I'm the only one that's been thinking like this, uh, especially recently with what they've been doing with Cody Rhodes' character. I've actually been kind of concerned if they actually do pull the trigger and have Cody Rhodes dethrone Roman Reigns in this epic title reign that he has had. I'm very concerned on the fans turning on Cody relatively soon. Now we know wrestling fans can be very fickle. It, it's, it's, we've seen it time and time again. We want someone to get pushed. They actually do get pushed. And then when they are pushed, then we tend to boo them because we don't like what's happening or we think their character is boring or has gone stale. It, it happens all the time in wrestling, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't want that to be the case relatively too soon for Cody. And that's my fear. Um, the reason why I, I've been feeling like that a little bit more and more. Um, if you guys watched last night's promo segment with Cody and Roman Reigns, this was really their first time interacting with each other for this year's WrestleMania by themselves. Um, it kind of disappointed me how they book Cody. How they ended up booking what he was what he was going to say and his reactions to Roman Reigns. It it was lacking the intensity that, in my personal opinion, it needed it needed considering this is the person that has screwed you over. He screwed you over at last year's WrestleMania, and now he's gonna do whatever he can with the help of the rock to screw you over again. He has disrespected your family multiple times. And it's one of those things where it's like, at the end of that segment, Cody wanted to shake his hand. And it's like, to me, that just, it it drops his, his stock, in my opinion, as someone that the fans would want to get behind to really dethrone Roman. We went from, we want Cody, and the hype that was, because we wanted Cody to genuinely try to finish his story, and now it's one of those things where it's like, I don't see that much enthusiasm from Cody fans outside of when he's actually getting intense and, and he seems, you know, very, uh, you know, I guess you can say angry. You know, there's nothing wrong with a baby face being angry. And when he shows his anger and, and he's expressing it, I think that's when fans kind of get behind him more. If you guys remember the promo segment he had with Paul Heyman on, it was a few Monday Night Raws back where Paul Heyman came to Monday Night Raw with the the uh, JAG police security team or whatever you want to call them. And he made it very clear that the bloodline's not hunting him. He's hunting the bloodline. So with that notion, you would think they would expound upon that, have this guy actually try to do something and, and take out Solo and take out Jimmy or make a, a message to Roman and The Rock that he's not playing no games, but they never really followed up, followed up upon it. The whole situation with Cody slapping The Rock, yes, that was cool, but I felt like it was it was one of those things where it, it, it seemed a little bit forced and we didn't get enough of Cody really poking and prodding at Roman and, and the Rock situation and 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 actually firing up. Seth Rollins fired up on the Rock, but we didn't get that much from Cody, in my opinion. And I think that was a uh, a letdown. And even with Cody's promo, um last week on Raw when he, he si decided to get a little bit uh a little bit personal, I enjoyed that. I, I liked that a lot. Um, I just wish we could have gotten that much sooner. That should have been something should have happened right after he got slapped from slapped from the rock. It should have been that version of Cody. And I feel like they'll take a step forward with bringing this aggressiveness with him. And then they take another step back and he sits up there trying to shake, shake his opposition's hands. Like, no, like this is. This is not the first go around. I can excuse Cody for having this mindset the first go around with Roman. Now you know how Roman gets down. Now you know what's up. So let's bring that aggressiveness. Let's bring that intensity. And 
a, a, a comparison, even though they're different wrestlers and different styles and, and vibes and how they per perceive themselves on the television show. On this same show, a last night on SmackDown, we had a fantastic segment from LA Knight who went to AJ Styles' crib and was on some, it's on site, and was giving him the beats in his own front yard. Now, I'm not saying Cody needs to do this, but I'm saying the intensity is there. You can buy into more of what LA Knight's trying to do because he's been attacked, he's been wronged, so now it's time to get his get back. And I think the same thing can be done with Cody. You've been attacked. You've been wrong. Get your get back. He did the same thing with Brock. Granted, most of that feud was him getting packed up. So the times he was trying to fight him, he would try, but he'd get packed up. And in this situation, I feel like he could go about it without it even being him going to the Rock's crib or Roman's crib or whatever the case. He can go about it on what I've been suggesting, trying to pit, put um, the Rock and Roman against each other, pit them against each other, or put them against each other, try to s destroy the bloodline from within by planting a seed, that's all you need, and I feel like they were doing that a little bit, but they haven't been consistent with it, one of the promos that kind of started all of this up was when Cody said, my mission is to make sure I take everything from you, not just the championship, everything. Well, we haven't really been seeing him trying to take everything from him. And if I'm trying to take everything from you, I'm not trying to shake your hand. I'm trying to basically let you know I'm going to destroy you. I have to. It's part of my story. I have to get my revenge. I have to save WWE from you and The Rock. In this whole bloodline nonsense, WWE will be better when we take care of you guys. And I will do whatever it takes to get it done. And you can still buy into them. And the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because I feel like having Cody the way he is now, if he was to win at WrestleMania this year, it's not going to take long for the fans to turn on him. Now, I get it, he, he, he's the ultimate babyface, so I'm not sitting up here saying he shouldn't be the, the face of the company in that direction of, of doing nice things and you look up to Cody, the kids love him and families love him, that's cool, but I feel like you can still pull that off, but show emotion. Fans, especially now, and it's been like this for a while, but especially now, heels are always, they're much cooler. Because they kind of get away with stuff and they come off cooler. They just come off more relaxed. Well, yeah, more relaxed. And, and, and when they need to turn up and get disrespectful, they can go there. You know, I mean, I see it feels like with Cody, he's this goody two shoes politician type, like Roman said. And he's more, you know, methodical with what he says. And he's kissing the babies and hugging the families, which is awesome. But at the same time, you know, people are going to get tired of that. People want to see some edge. People want to see people turn up. You piss me off. I'm going to show you why you made that mistake. And I'm a good guy, but I'm going to show you why I ma you made that mistake. Prime example, Drew right now is doing the best work of his career in WWE. And it's not even that, yes, he's a heel. Yes, he's a hypocrite. But at the same time, he's cool. He's hilarious. He's funny. He's being an asshole, the ultimate hater. But you want to see the guy win because he makes some great points. And I feel like Cody can do somewhat the same. You can make great points. People be like, you know what? You're right, Cody. You can have a little bit of that asshole to you. There's nothing wrong with that. You can still play by the rules as much as you can. But we all understand your story. We know what Roman has done to you. So we are not going to get mad if you pull out some of the same tricks that Roman has done. That's all I'm saying. I We know WWE is not the best at booking baby faces. And I'm just, I have a, a fear that, you know, the way Cody is booked right now, it may, he may end up getting booed relatively quick. And I don't want that for him uh, because I, I feel like, you know, he has a, a lot of momentum and he can still be the face and the, the top good guy in the company. 
but there's nothing wrong with adding a little bit of edge to him so that way the fans can even buy in like okay i can buy into this guy stopping roman reigns because he's he's not taking no no crap from roman he's not taking no crap from the rock he's not taking no crap from the bullet line he's been through it before now he has a game plan he's he's trying to take these guys out one by one you can buy into that because the story is already there but i just feel like to be honest with you cody has not had too many wins in this whole rock and roman situation they've been cooking this guy for weeks there's maybe been a few instances where he was able to get up over on the Rock and Roman, but outside of that, he hasn't really been able to to really establish himself as someone that you can really buy into doing the job and actually, you know, carrying that championship after Roman. I do think he can. It's just will the fans be behind him long term? That, I'm be honest with you, I'm not so certain. So, comment down below. Let me know. Have you guys been feeling the same way? Or do you guys have that same type of concern that Cody may not be as over as once he wins this championship and people are going to turn on him because of how they book him now, how he's been presented now? And if you have felt that way, what is a way that you can help Cody, you know, his character overcome that? Would you guys prefer him to be a little bit more aggressive and have those emotions of anger, you know, and 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 channel that anger into a promo or segment, you know? Would you prefer you prefer him to be like that when conflict comes his way, or would you guys keep him the same way and 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 not really too much worry about it? I really want to get y'all opinion on this because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about you know just what happened on the segment last night and how they weren't really a big fan of what cody has said and or done recently and you know just people are saying it's not going to take long before they start booing this guy so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation appreciate all the love support you guys showing our channel road to 150k i'm still getting the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace